Good morning guys. Uh, today I'm taking the car back to the dealership. As I said in the last vlog, uh, the car started to vibrate a little bit more again and I called the dealership up and they were like just drop it off. So I'm gonna do that now and then I gotta go to the office but I'm gonna find a way how to go to the office. But for now let's get to the dealership. Drop her off and about to get a loaner car. It's pretty nice. It's gonna be a charger. And now I'm gonna go back to the office and work. Damn. She's back in the dealership again. Ooh, that's a nice charger. Blue Indigo Blue Charger, huh? Nice. You see that? We're gonna do offers today. Nah, we're not gonna do offers. Okay, first time driving a charger. Let's see. Ooh, fancy, huh? It's pretty nice. Got paddle shifters too. You kidding me? Damn. Let me just back up and reveal the rental car. They gave me a 2020 Dodge Charger S60 with all-wheel drive, and overall impressions, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna tell you why. All right, guys. As I said, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle, and uh, with that V6 engine that it has. It's actually a pretty awesome car for snow and all the people that I talked to who own a all-wheel drive Challenger or Charger, they're actually pretty happy. And one thing that I saw in the car and it was pretty interesting that is uh, when you're cruising on the highway, it's actually a rear-wheel drive vehicle because it's rear-wheel drive biased and it switches to rear-wheel drive when you're driving and cruising in the highway or just on the street. But as soon as you put the car in the sport mode, it turns to all-wheel drive and you can launch the car in all-wheel drive and it has a launch control i mean i didn't really know a v6 charger comes with the sport bottom launch control drive modes and everything you basically get in a scat pack it's pretty interesting and kudos to dodge and fca for actually including those stuff in a entry-level vehicle so i'm going to use the launch control first i'm going to put the car in sport mode and then launch control I'm gonna leave the RPM at that. Activate launch. All right, to launch, press brake and quickly apply throttle. Okay, it's pretty slow. It's not too fast. It wasn't that bad. It could be a little better. For it being a V6 car, it's actually a quick car. It's not a fast or a sport or a race car but it's a quick car and it can get you from point A to point B faster than a lot of cars out there and the V6 engine paired with the ZF 8 speed automatic transmission it's basically uh, Christmas because they work perfectly together the car shifts smooth pretty awesome as soon as you put it in sport mode you have the different options to have the car shift a sportier or not sportier it actually holds the revs for you let me just show you the interior So the interior is actually pretty nice too. You get this, you kidding me? I just noticed that. This is the same exact steering wheel that I get in my Challenger. So again, it's actually pretty nice. It's leather wrapped and it has the blackout bezel. So it looks pretty good. And everywhere you touch, it's good material unless you go to lower levels like here, where you get a little bit cheaper material like here. But overall, has the brush metal here and, and a soft touch here. It looks pretty good. But again, if you go to the lower places, it gets a little bit cheaper. But overall, it's a nice looking interior. And this being a FCA product, you actually get all the infotainment system that actually comes with the FCA vehicle. And it's an awesome one. I love using it. You get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you need those, you get that. All right, let's look at the back seats. After all, this is a family sedan, so it opens up pretty good, almost 90 degree, it's not perfect. But when you get back here, you have enough room down here. And me being a 5'10 person, 5 feet 10 inches, uh, I have pretty much a lot of knee room and the headroom is pretty good too. Uh, this doesn't have a sunroof on it, so that might help a little more, but it's actually pretty good and it's pretty comfy back here. 
It has the air vents and they get the USB chargers. And it's actually for the people sitting back here. And it's pretty open. The boot is actually pretty good too. It has a lot of space. It's pretty nice. And this is the price tag, which is 35 655 Base price at $33,570. Overall, it's an awesome car and if you're thinking about buying one, either get the S60 with all-wheel drive or just go pay a little more for the GT because that comes with an appearance package. You will have the hood and the bumpers from the scat pack chargers and it looks just a little better. But $35,000, you can actually find yourself a scat pack or a uh, 5.7 charger with that price. Again, this was just the first review and I don't even know if it's like a review or not, but just wanted to put it out there because I had the car and I saw the opportunity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, right now, I'm going to take some bureaus off the car, take some photos and head to a car show, like a pop-up show that happening that way. All right, so made it to the show and it's a little windy, so sorry for the wind, but <laughs> I have to park the rental here and then all these nice cars here. Look at this white body shell. It's pretty nice. All right, I'm out of this place because I'm just too old for this. Uh, I generally don't like these banger meats, so I'm gonna go home. Oh, I'm gonna finish the vlog first. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the 2020 Charger S60 with the all-wheel drive. Let me know if you own a Charger, uh, what kind of trim you have, and what do you think of it. I personally like the Charger, but I got the Challenger when I was car shopping uh, because I wanted the manual car, and also I love the Challenger just a little bit more than the Charger, but it is an amazing vehicle for a family sedan and a family car. So again, if you're thinking about getting one, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's chat about it, and I hope I can help you reach your decision. Well, I believe the OGs on this channel remember this place because those tire marks down there, if you haven't watched the first video I posted, not the first one, but the second one about the two year ownership, go watch it. I laid down those marks and it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna link it down below or it's gonna pop up in the banner right in the corner. Again, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, I'll really appreciate it. And as always, have your notification bells on so you're not missing any of the videos and with that all being said this video is officially over and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace pretty wide you can actually get back here oh. <laughs> you guys see that oh my god I just hit my head all right let's do it again